Sometimes when I speak to patients who may be new to laser, a common question that comes up is, aren't lasers the same? Why does it matter that you have more lasers than other clinics? And why does it matter that you're using combinations of lasers for me? If I'm not a driver, I might think that all cars are the same in a similar fashion. Lasers are very useful tools that we use in our practice to help with a variety of different skin conditions. It's important to know the kind of lasers to use for a particular patient depending on their skin condition and also some of the underlying issues that are associated with the skin condition and that is why it's important for us to have a range. In general, I would say most lasers, we can divide them into ablative as well as non-ablative. Ablative meaning lasers that can potentially cut into the skin or burn into the skin. Non-ablative lasers generally target a very specific target called a chromophore in the skin to try to effect a physiological change to the skin. And it's important that most good laser clinics have a variety of different lasers because each laser comes with a slightly different profile. All lasers are single monochromatic devices, meaning they only carry one wavelength of light. Each wavelength of light really only targets or affects one or two changes to the skin. To expect a very good overall result with a single laser machine, to be honest, is being really unrealistic. And if any clinic promises you that, I think that's a misrepresentation. So in the setting of our clinic, it's not uncommon for patients to find themselves surrounded by various laser machines. This is like my toolbox and I open up my toolbox to the patient and depending on what we see on the skin or what is the underlying condition of the patient, we come up with a combination of lasers that potentially will help the patient improve the overall skin. So for example, the commonest condition we see in our clinic is pigmentation. A combination that I might use for a patient with pigmentation for example, would be a pigment laser, which sometimes can be a nanosecond laser, a picosecond laser, a 1064 nanometer wavelength. Some patients, like the melasma patients, have an underlying hypervascularity to the skin or chronic inflammation to the skin. And this might require me to use something like the yellow laser or yellow wavelength laser at 577 nanometers to help with the hypervascularity. And it's not uncommon for me to use something to help enhance the skin renewal as well. So I might use something like the erbium yak laser to help accelerate skin renewal in the skin to help with lightening of epidermal pigmentation.